Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composite notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Let's go with Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I shared mine with her first, especially since, like, we very much aimed it at her. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh! In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, was actually like as simple as, Pick a waifu. Alright, that one. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. Oh yeah, mine which goes fucking fluffy, bunny, parfait, incongruent. You know. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Yeah, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you've never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Oh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Right. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. He said, lying. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Eagles can fly. Nice. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I get it. But, yeah. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for the rhyme at the end, but then it fell flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. Guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Ah, uh, Yuri. Hey, murderer. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? What's that supposed to mean, Yuri? What? Nothing? <laughs> yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! 
Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face into her hands. It doesn't look like it, but... I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. For example, it looks like you just went through a dictionary and picked out random words. Like, incongruent just shows up in the middle for some reason. And having been put through that myself, I kind of learned to pick it up, pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing that I recognize as new writers is that they try to make their writing style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. And the end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it seems as if, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not, for finding, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased, how? Um... Well... Never mind. Natsuki's just le leaning over her shoulder. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, fuck. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Whoa. Oh, oh. I'm so, uh, sorry to have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Did it actually track how long it took me to read it, or is that just what she says? Because that'd be fun. That'd be pretty cool if it did. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. You know, I just had to stare at it real hard for a minute. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem, even though it's short. It was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer. Not at all. It's fine. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh, Jesus. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. You fucking pleb. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. You're really stupid, aren't you? Myself. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on those things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's a shame I'll be a ghost soon. I'll make it difficult. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Monica. Hi, Louie. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. 
Also, she's probably a murderer. Anyway, just want, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha, don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'd say about 25% of it fits within my demographic, so... Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, jeez. No, no. It, it kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. Ah, hmm. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Ah ha ha ha. If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read any, something by Sh Shel Silverstein? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all sorts of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I literally don't even know who this person is. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. Maybe she... no. Nah. No, definitely not. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of, kind of poem to explore. Wait, are you saying I'm simple? I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Whole... In war, oh my god, it scrolls. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a, f like a film left, bleh, bleh, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Jesus fucking Christ. You're all so depressing. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. God fucking damn it, y'all are depressing. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very... Freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha ha ha, it's okay. Oh yeah, the look on your face totally says it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. This is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah! Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Mostly because it centers so much around death and being a non-Euclidean being. But, you know, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Yeah, then you'll feel much more confident. Talking about your murder, you know. Anyway, she Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I'm sure there's all kinds of foreshadowing in these poems, but honestly, I begrudge having to read a poem, so I'm not going to look too deeply into it. This is a good poem, Louis. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. Uh, I feel like Mana uh, Yuri might be strongly outside of the demographic compared to the other three girls. It's not that good. 
Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right, but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just, that you just wrote one. It doesn't matter that it's terrible. You wrote something. That's all I can really ask for. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I was tempted in here by a cupcake, after all. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. She told me there were cupcakes here. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Plus the fact she told me about the cupcakes. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Ah, she's a cannibal. I see. I see. I understand. Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J maybe! You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean! What do you mean? What? Do you... You know, <laughs> comparing you to me, alright, I still try my best. Are you saying I didn't try my best? <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, mostly because they are. Even if they're uh, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Yeah, no, that's like objectively true. This is a literature club after all, allegedly. Hmm. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My and eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly ex exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki eyebrows furrow in frustration. She can't read the script, can she? Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? What, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns to the po po poem on the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. <coughs> I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... I guess I won't even fucking bother then, shall I? Move her up on the list? Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. 
move you up a little bit more. Which people did, by the way, say Ori liked it, and Louis did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change. Jesus Christ. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Louis liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Louie appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Ladies, please. Please. It's too soon to start stabbing each other. We've been here for like an hour. Ah, uh, huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. What are you saying, bitch? Um, put the knife down, Yuri. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? This fucking circus theme going in the background. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Louis started showing up. Natsuki! Ah, uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Okay. I don't like fighting, guys. Please put the knives down. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they noticed I was standing there. What's up? Louie. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. I didn't pad anything, I swear. That's not true. She padded everything. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force themselves to figure it out. Help me explain that to her. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language, such as incongruum. The only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is only unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Louis? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Yo, Sayori! You answer. <laughs> See, I actually agree with Yuri more than Natsuki, but I've committed. Um, Yuri... You're really talented. Oh, well, uh, well. But Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the immediate reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Aha. Shows how much you know. Or that's not Natsuki. I think that's enough, huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. You're the one fucking talking about padding. <laughs> Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can be definitely be. I like how we have all these morals, but in like an hour's time, it's gonna be fucking murder and pro eldritch abominations or something. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah. Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. Senpai. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri... Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, 
It's not like you need to apologize for me. Sheesh. I mean, are you gonna do it for yourself, though? I think about... Uh... Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <laughs> anyway, the thing about your boobs... I didn't mean it, okay? Even though I saw you in the restroom with the ta- Anyway, that's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. All right, so I'll go home now before anyone gets the knives out again, especially you. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we get got a little too used to. <laughs> ah, so joining my club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, that's not true. Only slightly. Uh, there's still time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. For example, you know, there are books in the room, after all, so maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book and do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monitor. Monica. But what about? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Of course. This is why we never do anything. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> Literally because you were here. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. I guess. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Kinda. Mostly. Meh. What about you? Yeah. I say the same. It, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll all do the same thing tomorrow. Oh no, what have I done? And maybe you learned something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Yeah. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Louie, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. What? Well, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No! Uh, yeah. No. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You know, you don't hate them, do you? Uh... No? Like... Natsuki is number one waifu, and then Yuri is number two. Unfortunately, they're on opposite ends of the spectrum, so it's gonna be hard to overlap those, you know? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, it's nice that I spend t get to spend time with you in the club, but I think that seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Seeing as you normally never leave the house, I kind of thought you might have died for a while, and I think everyone really likes you too. Yeah, for some reason, it looks that way. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It's, it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Wow! Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, here we go.